an insane amount of volume. Like, amazing shook you got me hey curl friends welcome back to the frizz and channel my name's chloe and if you're new here i am here to teach you all things curly hair beauty and life so let's get into today's topic today we're going to be talking about the brand new curl line curl wow now when they sent me this i was immediately like ooh i've heard very good things about the color wow hair care system but i never really was like that eager to jump on it because none of it was really formulated for curly hair. So when I saw that they had a full curl line, you know I was about to review it. Let's take a step back. Number one, when I saw their campaign for this, I have never seen more luscious, curly, frizz-free, shiny, beautiful perfection of curls. So I was like, okay, if you can claim that your curls are gonna turn out like this, you got me. They are claiming that this is going to be the closest to naked curls that we're going to achieve, okay? So we're not looking at a lot of buildup, we're not looking at a lot of like crunchiness, none of that, okay? So it's supposed to feel as naked as your curls are going to ever feel while also still using product. I actually am using the products right here, right now, okay? So this is a fully styled look with these products. Before I make any comments about the results, what I'm feeling, what I'm seeing, what I saw throughout the process, I would like to stop the video and I want you to go down to the comments and tell me what you think. Just your first thoughts, okay? I'm gonna even come up closer to the camera. First thoughts. What do we think? By the way, I styled these. I ended up styling them last night. So this is technically day two, but it's still in the first 24 hours. So I did sleep on them and bonnet them, but I haven't done anything. I have not refreshed. I haven't done anything. This is just like fresh out of the bonnet, letting them be. Okay, did you go down in the comments? I'm waiting. Okay, fantastic. Now the whole line consists of, my understanding that they sent is five total products. We have a pre-shampoo detangler. I really liked this product. For anybody like me who has a very, like my curls get very tingly, okay? So they're very porous, they get very tingly. I don't wash my hair every day. They have a lot of time to get very tingled, especially like down here. I really thought this was a phenomenal product. One thing too is that this whole line, I believe the whole line is silicone free. Let me double check. One product might have silicones, but everything else is silicone free. You know I like my silicones if you've been here for a while. If you haven't, make sure to like the video and make sure to subscribe, Miss Curlfriend. But getting back to it, this is silicone free and normally a lot of products that are a slip type detangler, they nor a lot of them do have silicones in them. So I thought that was very interesting that this was silicone free, a majority of the line was. And the scent, I'm just gonna open this up this way. The scent is like, it's very light. It's slightly fruity, slightly warm. It's really nice. I actually have to say this is one of my favorite scents that I've had in a product line in a long time. So fantastic product right here for a pre-detangler type system. Next, we have the actual shampoo. The shampoo itself was also very nice. I don't really find a lot of shampoos, to be completely honest, all that different. I felt like my scalp got really cleansed. I felt like my, ha my hair as a whole got very well cleansed and it did have a nice suds to it. Not all shampoos a lot of times have a, a, a nice lather to them, but this one really did. So they're saying that they have a proprietary blend called Procapil, Procapil. I don't really know how to say it. Okay, let's pause because honestly, as I'm reading through this, a lot of it just seems like mm, a lot of like just extra verbiage that really doesn't need to be there to be completely honest. They're just kind of like downgrading a lot of like any other curly hair product that is basically on the market and saying like this is like the only one that you need, marketing. But overall, I liked it. This is $29 for a shampoo. Mm, I wouldn't probably pay $29 for this because Lord knows I use a lot of shampoo. I got a lot of hair. Mm. I don't think that's worth it. The next thing is the lubricating, lubricating conditioner, Coco Motion. All right, here she is. 
she is a very nice thick formula you can't really tell because it's all white but it was a very nice formula i actually very much so enjoyed this and i don't love all deep conditioner mask type treatments this is recommended to do a five minute treatment which i also appreciate the ones that are like 15 minutes plus i'm like dude i don't have the time i already spend enough time on my hair so i actually really enjoyed this and i would definitely recommend it this one is also retailing at 29 dollars and for a mask that is a really high quality hair mask that I'm gonna say is worth it. I personally do find that it's much harder to find a really good hair mask than it is to find a good shampoo. I would say the detangler is also worth it, but I would say out of the wash products, what my favorite one was is the mask. It also, after I rinsed it lightly out, I also felt like I still had a really nice amount of moisture that was locked in still. Now, those are the wash products. Let's talk about the stylers. And the stylers are where it gets interesting what we have for these and this is so far different from what i would normally use on my curls a serum and a mix and fix spray that's it if you noticed there's a couple products missing we don't have a leave-in conditioner and we don't have a gel and instead we have a serum and a spray which are very lightweight compared to what i would normally style with so let's start with the serum this is actually a pretty it's a thicker serum than what I would normally think of like in my mind when I think of a serum I think of something that's lighter weight maybe even that's closer to an oil this is much more of a curl cream type consistency maybe even a curl cream slash leave-in but it's definitely not like a super thick like in the tub type leave-in I would normally go towards I really did actually like this and what I found very interesting is it had an amazing amount of slip like amazing Okay, and I do not say that lightly by any means because I love slip and I love normally an oil rich, deep conditioner, leave in curl cream type scenario. Now, if we look on the back of the product, they're talking about this product being fully loaded with jojoba, piqui, piqua, piqui. I'm honestly not sure about that oil. I've never heard of that one. So that's a new one for me. And then we have coconut oils. Now I will say too, coconut oils are pretty prevalent throughout this line. So if you don't like coconut oils, just understand that they are pretty strong throughout this line. And that did scare me a little bit because sometimes coconut oils are a little bit not my friend. So I was a little bit weary of that specifically. And then it has this proprietary Profaxel 18 complex. No idea really what that means, to be completely honest. This formula delivers the rich moisture curly strands typically lack. Naked curls normally do not have any moisture. They're normally dry, they're normally coarse. It's a struggle when I have naked curls. They feel like hay, to be completely honest for me. I used it my normal way. I tried styling as best I could, as normal as I do, so that I could get as close of a routine as I normally would, even though I wasn't technically using a gel. Applied this all across my hair. Then we went through and did this bad boy. And this is what's really different from any product I've ever tried. And this is the Shook Mix and Fix Bundling Spray. Bundled, frizz-free, glossy, no crunch curls, weightless formula, hold without cast. That's a big claim for us curlies. You actually shook, okay? So hence in the name, you have to shake it up to like I guess activate it and so it turns into this really beautiful light purple color i actually really love the coloring on this it's very pretty and the scent is phenomenal so they're using jojoba rice bran passion flower and grapeseed oils grapeseed oil is a phenomenal oil for curly hair it's actually a very lightweight oil but it adds it really packs a punch too so if you find anything that has grapeseed oil in it i absolutely recommend it also has aloe which is a fantastic ingredient for curly hair and remember when i said that it's silicone free so they're using something that is called a hemi squalane which is a natural alternative to silicone. I thought that was very interesting. And so I'm assuming it has a similar sealing type property that silicone would in a natural way. Actually, 
Let's look this up. All right, I found an article. On birdie.com, they have an article here talking about how hemisqualine, really a natural alternative to silicone. It's plant-based. It is a non-polar hydrocarbon that comes from the fermentation of sugar-based plants. Okay, Chloe, cool. So what does that mean? Let's talk about it. So basically this ingredient is meant to be a lightweight frizz controlling product that won't weigh your hair down. Suitable for most hair types. Again, won't weigh it down, so really good for fine hair as well. And it is actually an oil. You can get this in an oil. Very interesting type ingredient. I put this all over. I really had no idea how much I needed to be using because it was my first time using it. So I'm just like dousing the absolute crap out of my hair. And I went through, I finger coiled the way I would normally finger coil. And it did feel very light. It did feel very hydrated. And then once I went through and I did all of my normal routine, I went through and I gave it a really nice once over as well at the end once I had kind of like squeezed out any of the excess moisture, excess product that really didn't need to be there. And then I just gave it a really nice hopeful last seal. Then we went through and dried. And once I dried, I did notice that my hair was looking a little bit more on the frizzy end. I'll put some photos up here so you can see directly after it got done drying. It felt like I was getting more frizz than I would normally see, especially on day one. But what I also saw was an insane amount of volume for directly after styling, like literally day one curls. I normally get obviously like the least amount of volume throughout the week, but I really have to say it felt like my curls were naked, but like a better version. The way I wish my curls felt like when they don't have product on them, which was a pretty cool thing to feel. Like I wish you guys could like just grab through the screen right now and be able to feel my curls because they don't feel like they have product on it. The amount of definition to frizz ratio I'm getting is actually quite insane. They look pretty dang good. They really do. For what's considered to be a naked curl, might I add on a high porosity, thick, coarse texture, I'm very impressed. These two products really did do a phenomenal job. One of the things that I think I want to try in the future is maybe bringing in another gel to get a little bit more definition in my curls and then topping it off with this. While I did get great definition, while I did get really amazing, I mean amazing volume, some of my curls did not curl the way I like them too. So if we go over here, I noticed I had some curls that were just like a little bit like longer, not quite as bouncy as I would normally see them. But if I'm looking at this from a sense of getting a very natural feel and touch while also still feeling hydrated and moisturized, I'm really, really impressed. And for somebody who normally needs a ton of product in their hair. I'm shook. We also have to talk about the price. This serum is $30 and this is $38. I think that's a little high personally. $38 is very expensive for a hair product. This is 10 fluid ounces. I think that's a little high. I wish this was at $30 or $28. I think that th that would be more accurate in the results, the feel, the quality, etc. I want to try both of these a little bit more in a few different ways and see how they can play with other products too. As a whole, I'm really impressed with this line. I really do think that it's a phenomenal line and I think it's something that a lot of you should try if your budget allows you to try. If you do not have the budget to spend $150 on a pro new product line, totally get it. If you do wanna try these, I'm going to tell you my three tops, this fantastic conditioner mask treatment and these two stylers because I can tell you right now, you are going to genuinely love 
how your hair feels with these products on because it's never going to have felt lighter and less build up y yet you're still going to have this phenomenal volume and somehow moisture at the same time. My mind is still a little bit blown right now, honestly, from how my hair feels slash how it looks together. I don't know how this is going to last throughout the week because I normally like to get seven days out of my curls because I do, like I said, I'm getting more frizz than I would normally get on day one, day two. Now, do you think that you guys will try it? I'd love to know. I am going to put all the links down below so you guys can check them out for yourselves. So if there is a product line that you are just really wanting to know, is this worth my money? Put it down in the comments. I would love to review it for you. Give this video a thumbs up so that we can share more curly content with other curl friends on YouTube. And until next time, guys, I will see you then. Bye.